Hello everyone, nice to see you back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Adelina and I record videos on DIYs, painting tutorials, and just every day's life journeys. Now today, what I'm going to be making is a DIY. Most of my material is from the dollar store. Um, and I kind of got this inspiration from um, something I saw on Kirkland's online. And it was kind of like a picture frame, but with kind of like a 3D pumpkin picture. It was kind of like coming out of the frame um, and it had like a lot of bows and little, um, just a lot of different embellishments. And I really liked it, but I really didn't feel like paying $54 for it. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do, you know, do what I saw online as close as I can, but kind of put my own twist on it. And um, what we're gonna need for this project is, um, like I said, most of these things are from the dollar store. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over the materials with you. Um, I did get three of these oval um, wooden blocks. I got three of them. And um, I have uh, some twine and I have some different uh, floral, just different uh, fall floral arrangements here. Um, I did get these beads and I'm just gonna use these for embellishments also. Um, I'm gonna see if I could go ahead and incorporate that in there. Uh, you're also gonna need some of these wooden cubed craft blocks, a wire cutter. I did get some um, wire twine from the dollar store. I'm gonna see if I can maybe do something with this. I have some, I have some raffia here and I have some different um, colored craft paints a brush. I do have um, scissors, some pipe cleaners, and some of this uh, craft material. I did get three different kinds. And you don't need this, but um, for, for what I'm going to do, if you want to do exactly what I do, you are going to need like a sandpaper block. And I do have different ribbons from the dollar store also. Now, the one thing I did not get from the dollar store was this frame. Um, the frames that they had, the largest frame that I could find was an eight by 10, and it wasn't large enough for what I have in mind. So I did have this um, frame. I got it from Ikea. It is a weird size. It's a uh, 13 by 17 and I'm going to just use that because that's what I had lying around. Um, what I did do though, um, I did go ahead and take the glass off of it. And um, what you're going to want to do is with, you're going to want to open it up and you're going to take the backing off and the glass. I already took the glass off, but with the backing, what I was going to do, I was going to take some of this wallpaper um, that the Dollar Tree has and I kind of like this one. It's kind of like a farmhouse look. It's like white panels. Uh, unfortunately, the frame I'm using was too big for it, so I can't use that. So what I did do, I improvised and I basically just took some some tan, some light brown, some white, and some black uh, paint. And I kind of like uh, dry brushed it on here and kind of gave it this, you know, kind of farmhouse effect. And um, I mean, if you want to paint it all one color, you can. It just depends on what, what you like best to go with your home decor. So the first thing you're going to want to do is paint the background of your um, frame. 
and then you're going to let it dry and then you're going to set it aside and i did do, do this beforehand just for filming purposes so it could be dry Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your three oval wooden um, wooden blocks and I did get three of them like I said but I have painted two of them um, and these two are dry and I am going to paint the third one so you could see exactly how I do it. And I did, I'm going to go ahead and use um, some deep yellow craft paint from the dollar store. I'm going to use some of that. So basically I just Now this craft paint doesn't really take long, long to dry, but if you want, while we do everything else, you know, you can probably either blow dry it with a hair dryer, you know, on cool setting, or you can just put it in front of a fan. I usually put it in front of my, my, uh, my fan and they dry pretty quickly. These dried maybe within like 10 minutes. And if you want, I mean, you don't have to make um, the yellow pumpkin. You, if you want orange, you can, you can make your pumpkin orange. You can make your pumpkin blue, green. It's, it's whatever, uh, you know, your preference is on pumpkins. Okay. Now what we're, and I'm going to take some of this brown craft paint. I'm basically going to just maybe put, you know, just put a little bit on the brush. And I'm kind of just going to give it like a, a weathered look. Maybe just, I just kind of put it around the edges and then down here. Maybe give it a couple of little stripes in the middle. There you go and then we're gonna let that dry so I'm gonna put this aside here these two are already dry and I'm gonna just kind of set this on top of these and then set it to the side here I do have like a little fan over here on the side there you go so as that dries um, the next thing you're going to want to do so uh, you've already painted your the back of your frame and that's drying um, you're going to want to paint your three blocks and then you're going to set those aside to dry and then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your cubed blocks and this is what you're going to do with these is are is <laughs> you're going to build your um, stem your pumpkin stem and i did go ahead and um i took two at a time like two little blocks at a time at a time and then i glued them together so i did do 11 of them 11 11 pairs of two so you're just gonna hot glue that and once you do that you're going to go ahead and wait so you're going to glue all those together and then you're going to so you you're, you're probably going to use like 18 of these little blocks and then you glue two together and then you have all these little pairs and um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a stem 
it's just easier if you do it like this and then you can and then you're going to paint your stem now we're going to glue all these together too and you're going to have one more on the bottom because when you glue it you're going to see what i'm talking about when you glue the, this bottom you're going to glue it to the top of this pumpkin um you're, one of these is going to are, are going to go under the pumpkin so you so you're going to want to make sure you make one extra one for the bottom to go underneath the pumpkin and like i said i am going to show you okay okay so now i am going to go ahead and i'm going to glue first i'm going to glue these together So I'm just going to take it on the side, put a little bit of glue, and then put, let me see a little bit more here. There you go. You got those. Then you're going to go over here. Remember, you're making a stem. Okay. So that I have four of the pairs glued together right now. And then now I'm going to go ahead and glue the last one. This is the odd one that's going to kind of be sticking out on the bottom. There you go. Now I'm going to glue. Now these are going to go on top of here because you, you kind of want like a 3D effect. I'm going to go like that and then maybe a little bit right here, like that. There you go. So on the bottom, and then on the side, it's gonna go on just a little bit, like that. doesn't have to be perfectly straight oh okay and then this is the one that's going to be on the very bottom remember the extra one I was telling you about I thought I already did it but I didn't ah, whoa that is hot, hot be careful you will burn yourself okay okay so that is going to be our stem that's going to be our stem. Now, mind you, if you don't want to do it like this, I, I was going to buy some of those little Jenga blocks that they have for crafting, but they were all sold out. So I had to improvise once again. So I got these little blocks. Or if you want, if you have trees and branches outside, maybe you can find a little branch and then make that, you know, that could be your stem on top. But I actually don't have, I didn't have any branches or trees or anything that I could use for this. So I had to find something. So this is the closest thing that I could find to make a stem. So um, it's a little bit more time consuming doing it with the little, little blocks, but it works. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my brown craft paint and I'm going to Go ahead and and paint this brown.
So there you have it. It's my brown stem. So now I'm going to put this aside and let this dry. So now we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do now is um, the craft material that we got. I already did a couple of them, but because I wanted to make sure it would work and it wouldn't, it wouldn't rip the way that I was, I was doing it. I'm going to make little slits and some material actually just rips by itself and then some of it doesn't but i did i did practice on this dollar store craft material and all you got all you have to do is do the little slits right here and then once you do this once you do the slits then the rest will go ahead and uh, just rip off so i'm just going to make i'm going to do four slits Let's do one. Maybe like an inch, like I'm doing maybe like an inch. And I'm cutting four slits. And they don't have to be perfect either. So here's the first one. There you go, one. Two, three, four. Okay, so I have four of those. And for right now, I think that's it because I don't want it to be too puffy. Um, I'm just going to use four for right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Like I said, I did, I did, a, I did go ahead and do this one because I was practicing to see how I was going to rip it, and it worked out perfect. So, so now I have some of these, and then I have some of the blue ones here. Okay, and then basically what I did is I kind of try to make make them even. There you go. And then I kind of, I went in the middle and you can kind of, you know, work the knot to where it's kind of like in the middle. That looks good, like there. There, so now I have two of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this one up. And I'm going to do the four slits. two, three, four. And then you just rip them. Here you go. And I'll put the rest away here. And then I'm gonna take them, try to make them even, then make my knot. Make sure it's kind of. There you go. Now I have three of these, like that. And um, I'm gonna take some raffia. They, they do have raffia at uh, the dollar store, but 
I did get this one from Walmart. I think I paid like $3 for it. Because once again, my dollar store, when I went, did not have, did not have any raffia. So I did get this from the dollar store. You're gonna take a couple pieces here. And I'm gonna split this in two and I'm gonna make two bundles. So the first bundle, and I'm basically gonna do what I did with the ribbons. I'm gonna tie a knot like that. Then I'm going to take the second bundle and I'm also going to tie a knot. Okay, there you go. Now so now we have all these bundles. I am going to cut some of this raffia down though. Okay, here you go. Okay, there you go. So, so now I have these to work with. Kind of looks like that. So I have all my craft material that I cut into maybe, you know, an inch. And then I tied it together in the middle. And then I took two, I took some raffia and I made two little bundles and I put them in between here like this. And then um, you can take a ribbon and you can use whatever ribbon you, you prefer here some checkered black and white and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half I'm just gonna make a you know just a bow maybe like that I can always cut this down and I'm just going to tie a bow with it. Nothing fancy. Just a bow. Not doing any fanciness. Just tying a regular bow here. Then we're going to cut these down also. Okay. go. Now we're going to cut some ducktails here. You just bend those, fold this over and cut it at an angle. There you go. Do the other side. Cut it at an angle. Now, I did also make a, a green bow beforehand because I didn't know which one I was going to prefer. I mean, I could use both of them if I wanted, but I don't know if that's going to be way too much stuff on this pumpkin. So as of right now, I'm going to grab these like that, and I'm going to take some pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold it in half. Fold it in half and then go around here and grab all this and then just twist like that. Okay. And cut the excess off. All right. Okay, so this is what I have right now. And then this bow is going to go right here. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside, my bows. 
and I'm going to grab the, the picture frame again. Now your picture frame should be dry by now also like mine. Go ahead and put all your little things down. And there you have it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is dry now. Okay, so I'm going to lay these right here more towards the bottom than the top because you're going to want your ribbons and bows up here so it's going to look something like this it's like it's giving it kind of like a 3d effect and we're going to play with this before we actually glue it down so here is our stem and it's dry also and you see the excess that we did right here and that's going to kind of tuck under there like this there you go then there's your stem your 3d pumpkin um, now this is where we're gonna mess with different things <laughs> okay so the first thing before we glue all this over here is i am going to do something with this frame it's like i said i got it from ikea it's white but it's the shiny white i don't really like it so let me go ahead and take these off and put them right here and what i'm going to do with this frame is I wanted to go ahead and kind of, I do have like a, a sandpaper block here. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sandpaper it and then I'm going to maybe dry brush some of this brown on here and then give it that weathered effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and Just do it all around. Now I'm gonna, oops. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my sandpaper block and I'm kind of just going to go around it and give it like a distressed look. Maybe take off of that, take the, the gloss layer off want to take the backing off before you do this because of all the okay now I think I am going to take my backing off just so it doesn't get messed up okay put that right there okay so let me Now, I did go ahead and do this beforehand, like I said, because I wanted to see if this worked. Now, I'm going to give you um, a tip. I didn't think of this myself. Like I said, I knew somebody who has a shop who does, it's all distressed furniture. And I really liked how she distressed it. And I asked her, what is the easiest way to distress uh, wood? And she told me she uses petroleum jelly. <laughs> yeah weird right well i tried it i've done so many of my um you know furniture 
in the house with this method and I can't believe how well it works, how well it distresses your furniture. So I'm going to, just with a little makeup removal cloth, just gonna grab a little bit, just not much. And I'm gonna just put it around this frame. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to give it another good uh, sandpaper. I'm going to give it another good scrub with my sandpaper block. Now you don't have to do this part. It's, you know, it's what, if you like the white or if you just like it looking nice and neat, then that's how you, you know, you can leave it as is. I didn't like all the white. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. Now you see how it, it I don't know, the petroleum kind of like, just grabs at the paint after you after after you use your sandpaper block or your sandpaper and then you add the petroleum jelly it it kind of like grabs at it and it it doesn't let every everywhere that the sandpaper has removed the wood or you know any kind of gloss or paint it kind of just um it, it kind of doesn't let the paint like go in those areas that is like this right here look I've, i'm putting paint and it's not grabbing it it's grabbing it around the side and when i wipe it down you see it's not going in that certain area i mean <laughs> like i said i just love it i think it just makes it, it's just really beautiful. And you can do this. I could do this like for hours, but I'm just going to stop right now. <laughs> and like I said, it's very weird. A lot of people, when I tell certain people how I, they ask me how I distress certain pieces of furniture I have and I tell them I use petroleum, they look at me kind of like I'm crazy. <laughs> but that's how I do it. All right, so I'm gonna stop playing with that now. I don't really know if you could see this, but it just gave it a real pretty distressed look. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the back back to it again. We'll put the back of the frame back in here. And like I said, you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. Okay. There you go.
Okay, so I have all this down. I'm going to flip it over. Okay. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to stop messing with the frame because it's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put my pumpkin together now. And like I said, you're going to put it low. Uh, you're going to put it. You want you want to position it lower on your frame because on the top you're going to want to display all that ribbon and all that embellishment that we're going to put up there. So I'm going to say like right here is good, and it's going to be like that. Then that tucks in. This right here tucks in. There you go. And once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and glue that on because let's take a look. See, you're going to do something like that. But I think we're going to cut some of these back because you're not going to be able to see your pumpkin. It's just too much of the... So I'm going to cut this down. Okay. I'm just doing the duck toe again because I just, I recut it. It was just too much bow. It was hiding the pumpkin. Like I said, I've never, it's the first time doing it with you guys. So sure, I'm going to run into different problems here but we can fix them because that's what crafting is so i think i might go like that and then do the bow kind of like this see like that so we might do it like this Okay. And then let's see here. We are going to put, like I said, we haven't glued it yet. We're just, I'm, I'm trying to make sure all these things actually, see, we should cut this down some. This is going off of the frame. Just a little like that. These different ones in here like this. And we're going to glue all this too. So, and then maybe let's see what we can do. Oh. Maybe we can put a couple of these in here. Let's get your wire cutters. some of these and we're just like I said we're just messing with different different things here Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start gluing everything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, okay, let's take these out and put the bow right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to hot glue the, the first go now we kind of know where we wanted that right like kind of like right here because the other one's going to go right there so that looks about right okay and then the other wooden we go ahead and put another glue stick in here
and then this one goes next to this like that try to do it you know as even as you can it looks about right and you're just gonna whoa don't do that <laughs> Okay, no problem. We don't have glass, so it can't break. It's just the little metal metal things in the back. I didn't I didn't put them down all the way, so not a problem. Okay, so okay. What I'm going to do is let me see here. This one is let me go ahead and glue this one all the way before we start messing with that. Yeah, I guess you're going to want to be careful. See, like I said, I've been put I was putting too much pressure on it. That looks good. Okay. It's okay. I'm just going to I guess we learn together, right? You know what not to do. I think that other pumpkin's coming out. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So now you know, make sure all your little metal hooks are securely down. See, I did not have all mine down. So that's why it's important to do that. Okay, and let's go ahead and try to... Okay, here you go. We're going to be careful there. Put your hand behind it if you have to. Yeah, for some reason I messed up on this one, but it's okay. We're going to fix it. Put too much glue on it, and then it came off and the glue dried. So let's just try to take some of this glue off. There you go. Perfect. Now we're going to re-glue this. And we're going to put it like right here. We are not going to press down hard. We're going to put our hand behind it and then maybe press it. And that will dry. Okay. Okay, that was an easy fix. And I guess that's what crafting is all about, right? <laughs> Learning. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and, whoa, and glue this one on top of these to give it that 3D effect. Try to put it in the middle. And remember, do not press hard. If you have to, put your hand behind there. And there you go. And there's that 3D effect that I really liked that I saw online at Kirkland's. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the little stem that we made from the wooden cubed blocks. We're gonna slide it under there and put your hand behind here again and go ahead and press a little bit and that should be fine. There you go. So now you have your pumpkin and your stem all glued down. And now we're gonna go ahead and take I'm going to take some twine. I believe I'm going to wrap all this up. Okay. Find the edge, find the end of my twine here. Or what I'm going to do is cut a new end. And I'm going to kind of put it around here like this. I'm going to tie it. Let me cut the other side off. Gonna tie this. Go 
and make a little bow here. Great. So this is probably gonna get glued right here. See how cute that is? It gives it that 3D effect, the pumpkin, the stem, everything. Um, and then we're gonna put our bow here. Or we can put our bow on top of that. That looks better, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to glue all the ribbon down. Like about right here. Don't press too hard. And then I'm gonna put glue behind my bow. And we're going to put it on top of all this, the ribbons. Don't press too hard. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to embellish the top any way you want. I thought these would be cute to make little curly cues on top you know, of the pumpkin. So let's see. I'm actually gonna take my paintbrush and Make a little curly cue here. And I'm gonna take my wire cutters. I'm gonna cut that. Take it out. Look how cute that is. And you can maneuver it any way you want. Gonna go ahead. Okay, let's make another one. And I'm just putting it around my brush. Taking it off my brush. And there you have it. Really cute. Okay, this is kind of unraveling up top, so I'm probably just gonna give a little bit of glue right there. There you go. Woo. Okay. Now before I actually put these in here, I think I'm gonna see what, okay, so I think, let me see if I want to put any leaves in here. They may be too big. Let's see. Let's see how they look. Okay, I'm just messing with this right now to see what I like. I like that. That's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and stick everything in there. See if I can put everything back the way that I had. Just gonna glue the bottoms and it goes right in there. Do the leaf. that in there like that. I want it to sit like that. I'm going to kind of, I can see it from here, make sure it stays. I'm going to glue it from here. 
in here. That one's gonna stay. That's already it's already in there. Let's put a little bit of a dab right here. Just a dab so the so it can actually there you go. Oops. Whoa, getting everything stuck on my fingers right now. Okay, so we got that. We have that one. We have that one. That looks really good. Um, let's go ahead and do a curly cue on here now. Maybe coming from here, we'll just So I'll put this one right here like that. There you go. And then we're going to put these leaves like this. Okay. So let's glue the bottom of this. There you go. And kind of stick it in there. There you go. And I'm going to kind of glue the sleeve down, just a little glob right there, just a little dot. Not a glob, a little dot. <laughs> there you go. And I'm going to go ahead and put one of these in here. And I did it again. I pressed too hard, but it's okay because this time I didn't do it all the way there. So people, um, I don't know if it's just the Ikea um, one that is like this or, you know, if it's all <laughs> the picture frames. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if this is just too heavy for a picture frame. Like I've never done this before, like I said. Um, so you're definitely going to want to be mindful of when you're gluing stuff, do not push down on the frame. Okay. So I put that there and we're going to put one of these in here. Go ahead and try to glue this leaf. It's being stubborn. There you go. And I'm going to add the curly cue in here. Okay, so we got the bow, we got the ribbons in here, we got the embellishments. Oh, I did want to incorporate this. Let me just go ahead and quickly do this. And I think that will do it. Um, I'm going to try to cut this from here. Use my scissors here. So I'm going to try, I'm going to put the glue here so it doesn't come out. You see what I'm doing? I, cause once you cut that, if you do use this, once you cut that, there's not enough room to make a, to make a, you know, to make a knot so they don't come, so it doesn't come undone. So I'm just, I'm just filling it up with hot glue and then you just let that just for a little bit dry and hopefully it works. So just waiting on this to dry. And maybe 
the glue the the last and the last and the the last bead just glue it to the other bead and then you know it's not going to come undone okay so i'm going to do this one i'm going to grab it hot glue it so it doesn't come undone and then glue the two beads together without burning yourself you see that so we're gonna go I, I think let's see hopefully I can use it and I'll look it's not too much in here so maybe I'll try let's let that dry a little bit and I think that will do it, right? Yeah, it looks really, that's so nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna probably glue it right here, in here. Just gonna put some hot glue gun on the edge of this. And I'm going to put it behind the bow, like that. And put the bow like that over it. And then I'm going to do the other one. And I'm going to put it behind this bow. Like that. And I'm going to fix the bow. And I, I think that will do it because we don't want to put too much. Remember, we're already having problems with you know with the frame all this might be too heavy for this frame just make sure all the little metal hooks in the back of the frame are secure um but i have them all secure now but you have to be mindful when you're pushing everything down when you're gluing it put your hand underneath it and it should be fine so i think i think that will do it and this I'm very happy with it. I mean, this is almost what that uh, $54 um, decor looked like from Kirkland's. I love it. It's going to look perfect in my living room, and I can't wait to put it up. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I, um, I appreciate everybody watching. And until our next creative rendezvous, Stay inspired.